Cheers! Thank you. Eric pointed out that we uh, rode the subway for the first time or public transportation anywhere with actual good music. Found the Harry Potter store. We gotta try to get a return time. Five oh six people ahead of us. And then they'll just text us when it's time. So we had some time before our group would be able to enter the store. So we went looking for the Little Island, which is a man-made, we'll say touristy, possibly local location. I think if you do live here locally, it's nice to get out of your place and just walk around. The pathways wind back and forth to the top. And then you can, you know, take in the view of New Jersey and downtown. It's a good addition and a nice little hike, so to speak. You can see the Statue of Liberty way out there. In the middle we had a seat and relaxed for a bit and then we just got a little hypnotized just kidding not quite sure what this little art installation was for but we had some fun with it anyway and there are these quiet moments you can find in the city if you just are willing to look for them and look beyond the hustle and bustle of all the crowds and people rushing by. Don't mind the locals crossing streets at red lights. That was like the cleanest smelling public toilet I've used in New York. And the faucet is a Dyson and it's like a faucet and a hand dryer. We really did think that this was a wind chime hidden somewhere. harmony there. <laughs> so what'd you think of uh, yeah. Little Island? I loved it. Yeah, I was just saying, I would come here every weekend if I lived here. Yeah, it's really cute. It's cute and quiet. Yeah, you get it like, just, you get a little workout going up the hills and uh, good views. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go eat lunch. Our time has rolled around for the Harry Potter store and I am starving. Starbucks sandwich wore off a long time ago. It's Eric's omelet. You should show the breakfast burrito, like actually. Just the wrapper? I'm just getting to that. I didn't want you to have to wait. Hopefully, they let us in. We're about eight minutes late. They had some really cute Christmas or holiday decorations and outfits. I really like that sweater, but I am behind on my Christmas attire as I have not worn what I was going to wear last year. And just little knickknacks everywhere. The store's multiple levels, and I didn't really see things repeated in different rooms. 
so far I'm getting this because it easily packs. <laughs> As a lot of people might know, J.K. Rowling is pretty problematic right now as she continues to go after the trans community, saying that there are real women and then there are people that think they're trans. It's obviously a very wrong thing to say, but it goes without saying that the world that she's created, along with the set designers and writers of the films, just really created this amazing story that all these people are totally into and it's hard to separate away from that experience and it's evident because here's everybody just shopping around and buying their products and in a minute we'll see what the queue looked like for that I haven't had that in a while. It's so good. Love it. Just did some shopping, heading back to the hotel and going out to dinner later. We're not sure where. And then seeing Aladdin. At our hotel's diner, they just like brought the water real quick. This is it. Just uh, a little bit of everything. It's all kind of, you know, the meatloaf sounds good. Mama's meatloaf. And they have Diet Coke here. We haven't had Diet Coke <laughs> since we got on the plane. Well, it has arrived and it's total comfort food for us because <laughs> I'm about to destroy this chicken quesadilla right now with my homegirl, Cholula. He did. Yeah, we're gonna get in this queue for Aladdin. Dang. It has a long line. It's gotta be good. And it's only like 50 minutes left. It's not 10 minutes left, 50 minutes. Thank <laughs> you. 
Set up here for Mary Poppins, right? But we had the front row, I think, this time. Not this time. Phil Macy's has a little bit of a identity crisis. They used to really hang on to Miracle on 34th Street from the film. And last time we were here, they had that depicted in windows as well as their merchandise. And now they've moved from Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus to whatever this is. It seems like it's their own Rudolph story, but with a blue reindeer, not quite sure. This was our last stop that day, so we'll see you in the next video coming soon. Check it out!